Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So it's been a month since Microsoft released the now infamous security update for Windows 10 version 22H2 KB503441. And as I've mentioned uh, in three previous videos, which will all be down below in the description, if you would just like to play catch up regarding this update, which has been failing to install and and failing to install and causing some problems for a whole lot of users. And Microsoft released this update, just to do a quick recap, to address a security vulnerability that could allow attackers to bypass BitLocker encryption by using Windows recovery environment. And as mentioned in those videos, some computers might not have a recovery partition that is large enough to complete this update. And because of this, the update for WinRE might fail and was... Um, generating different error messages and the error code 0x80070643. Now go check those other videos out regarding this uh, recovery partition issue because I have gone in quite in depth in detail um, just to kind of walk you through the process and explain what's going on. But just to let you know that unfortunately with uh, this month's Patch Tuesday update that rolled out for Windows 10, KB5034763, this issue has not been addressed. So um, if you were expecting a fix to roll out um, with Patch Tuesday for Windows 10, um, not to be, and Microsoft has not rolled out a fix. Now, Microsoft has made it clear, and I've also posted on this previously, that you can ignore installing this update. You can totally ignore installing this update. And it almost kind of is a two-edged sword, because why did they roll it out in the first place if you need to ignore it? And obviously, it was addressing a BitLocker recovery issue, but it seems to be causing more issues than it's actually trying to solve. And uh, um, Microsoft said you could ignore this update, especially if your Windows 10 device doesn't have a recovery partition. And I have suggested that in previous videos. And they also are working on a, a permanent solution. Now, the reason why this update was not, and a fix didn't roll out for this update with this month's Patch Tuesday update is because this update rolled out as a standalone security update. It wasn't part of the January Patch Tuesday update. It rolled out all by itself as a standalone security update. So I would expect that when the fix does arrive for KB5034441, it will also roll out as a standalone update to address this standalone issue, which obviously the update is failing to install and generating a whole lot of different uh, error messages. And as mentioned, Microsoft say they are working on a fix. Um, obviously, um, this could roll out in the following weeks. I hope by the end of this month with the bug fix update that will roll out at the end of February, we will get that fix. So obviously, this error might be more complex than we initially thought. So obviously, Microsoft is obviously trying to come up with a permanent solution to this, this, this issue. So as mentioned, just ignore the update and uh, um, just wait for the fix instead because as i've mentioned previously if an attacker wants to gain access to your system with this issue they would actually have to sit down well get access to your property get into your home or your office or your workplace and then sit down at your actual computer and then try and gain access to your system so you can safely ignore it and obviously as soon as i get any um updates, no pun intended, regarding KB5034441 or any fix that's rolled out. Obviously, I'll post immediately and let you guys know, but go check those other videos out if you want to play catch up and would just like to get some more info. They will all be down below. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.